What's up guys, CB Bricks here coming at you with another LEGO Star Wars mock showcase. Today we're going to be taking a look at my latest LEGO mock, and this is the Resistance Ski Speeder from the trailer for Star Wars The Last Jedi. Now the reason why I built this vehicle in particular was because this was the vehicle that stood out to me the most in the actual trailer, with its unique shaping and um, just overall weird look I guess. Um, I have seen a lot of other mocks of LEGO of this specific vehicle out on YouTube and Flickr and everywhere. Um, but a lot of those were built before proper images were uh, brought up for this actual vehicle. Um, so I went ahead and built one after we got a lot of those cool images and I tried to create a very accurate representation. So without further ado, let's get into the actual video. Now overall, the look and design of this vehicle in-universe is captured very well with this mock. You know, with the um, asymmetric feel, with the cockpit on one side, the guns on the other and the kind of engine pod in the middle. Um, I really like how it looks with its unique feel and I think I did a pretty good job. Uh, the main color scheme here is kind of light bluish gray, dark bluish gray, some uh, dark red accent with some black to symbolize some of the more mechanical parts. Uh, I put the entire vehicle up on some trans clear 1x2 bricks to sim uh, kind of make it look like it's flying and I think that does do a very nice effect. You can take those off if you want to. Um, but it does help with the stability and you know it also makes it look very cool. Now the cockpit section of this vehicle is one of the more iconic parts of you know the entire vehicle so I felt the need to really do it justice. I really like the curvature that I put on here, I like the rounded edges, kind of how it comes to a point. I think it looks pretty good. Um, the actual windscreen is the windscreen that was used on the, I believe it was the Resistance Bomber. Um, it had, or not Bomber, the Resistance Troop Transport, that one. It has um, really nice sticker detailing here. That's mostly why I used it. It's not the most accurate in terms of shaping. Actually, um, in universe, the vehicle has a kind of like cut out right here section where it's open, where the figure kind of sits up. Um, but I think this was a good compromise for the amount of detail I got on this actual thing. It can also open up very simply to reveal access to the interior. Now, the figure itself, I have Finn in there. Uh, I actually wanted Poe, but I don't have Poe with me, so I just used Finn. Um, but anyways, the figure does sit back a little bit, which is a little bit um, kind of annoying, but I didn't want to make the cockpit too uh, uh, deep, I guess. Um, but you can take him out pretty easily. Uh, pretty easily. And on the inside, you can see that there's like tan and there's one control panel. You can kind of see how that looks on the inside, and you can close that up very simply. There's a gun on this side, and on the back you have kind of like this engine rotating, uh, not engine, but kind of just like detail, maybe propulsion or something. I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, the actual wing that it is attached to is very highly detailed with kind of like this greebling effect here with some different pieces. It is hinged right here, and it looks pretty flimsy, um, but actually on the bottom, as you can see, it's all supported by different... Um, kind of like sections and droid arms is what I like to use here to kind of keep the mechanical feel um, so it's actually still held together very nicely. Um, you can see that I transitioned between brick built in the uh, wing pieces to actual uh, normal plate building so it kind of creates a cool effect. The other side is very similar but in this case we actually have uh, kind of like a weapons like a uh, like a I don't know like guns here and it's kind of like in a pod and I really like how that looks with the curvature here. Uh, the wing is almost identical to the other side. Uh, it actually is identical to the other side so um, I guess that looks pretty cool. Um, kind of keeps a little bit of symmetry and a very asymmetric build uh, but it does have these black guns here. I like the use of these kind of like um, I think these were Exo Force hand pieces kind of just like put up there to add some detail. I really like how those look. Now my favorite part of the entire vehicle that I built is actually this entire engine pod section. I really like the shaping that I turned out. I use this same um, kind of uh, kind of like uh, what it, curvature technique here with these uh, 1x2 and 2x2 um, slopes and those are created very cool with these uh, angles. Um, up front we have like these ventilation systems using those grill pieces. I like how that turned out in these two I guess exhaust. I don't know what they are, but they were in the real vehicle. So I put them there um, The these little stickers here were also from the resistance troop transport and they're on either side They're different, but they had a lot of nice detail. 
Another print up here is a two by two round tile that was from an old, I believe, uh, Battle of Endor set. Continuing on to the back, there's this very nice engine detail uh, with these like fins back here. I like, I really like how those look and um, this whole kind of engine pod here. You can see that there's some uh, cool parts usage here. These are some of those one by one clips and some of those uh, weird tubes. This whole thing is kind of adjustable, but it's all put back into place by the tubes. They kind of just push on it, uh, so it doesn't move too much. And I really like how this back looks out. I actually think this is my favorite part of the entire build. Now overall, I'm extremely happy with the outcome of this mock, guys. I think I did the in-universe vehicle justice pretty well, and um, I really like all the techniques that I used and the overall shaping that I got out of it. Uh, one thing I do want to mention, if you do want to see a tutorial for this build, go ahead and leave a comment and drop a like. Um, kind of let me know because, you know, I'd really like to get your feedback on stuff like this. Um, but with that out of the way, guys, I think that's pretty much it for this LEGO Star Wars Mock Showcase. So if you would, go ahead and drop a like on this video and subscribe if you want to see some more awesome LEGO Star Wars content like this. So thanks for watching, guys.